Mr Quiet by Roger Hargreaves Mr Quiet liked the quiet life. He lived quietly in a small little cottage in the middle of the wood. The problem was that the small little cottage was in the middle of a wood in the middle of a country called Loudland. Everything and everybody in Loudland was noisy. Oh, the noise. Dogs didn't go woof like other dogs, you know. They went, take a deep breath, woof. People didn't shut their doors like you or I would shut their doors. They slammed them. Bang! They didn't talk to each other. They shouted at each other. Hello! They shouted as they met in the street. And you've heard something about being as quiet of a mouse, haven't you? Not in Loudland. They had the noisiest mice in the world. Squeak! Squeak! They'd roar at each other. Mr Noisy would have liked living in Loudland. He'd have loved it. But Mr Quiet didn't. Noise frightened him. So he stayed in his cottage in the middle of his wood and as much as he could. But of course he couldn't stay there all the time. Every week, for instance, he had to go shopping. He used to creep into the grocer's shop. Good morning, bellowed the grocer. What can I do for you? Please, whispered Mr Quiet. Could I have some cornflakes, please? What? Cornflakes, please, he whispered. Speak up. Mr Quiet tried his loudest whisper. Cornflakes. Can't hear you, shouted the grocer. Next, please. And poor Mr Quiet had to creep away without any cornflakes. It wasn't fair, was it? He crept into the butcher's. Please, he whispered. I'd like some meat. The butcher didn't even hear him. He was humming to himself loudly and fiercely. Mr Quiet tried again. Please, he whispered, I'd like some meat. The butcher started to whistle. It sounded more like a burger alarm than a whistle. Mr Quiet fled, empty-handed. It often happened, which probably explains why he was so little. Poor Mr Quiet. He sat at home that night with a feeling of despair. Whatever am I to do, he thought. It's no use, he thought. I'll just have to try again. And so the following day he went shopping again. But the same thing happened. Can't hear you, thundered the grocer. Next, please. Can't hear you, bellowed the green grocer. Next, please. Can't hear you, roared the milkman. Next, please. Can't hear you, boomed the butcher. Next, please. Oh, dear. Well, Mr Quiet went home and went to bed, hungry. The next morning he was awakened by a noise which sounded like bombs dropping. It was the loud lamp postman knocking at Mr Quiet's door. Bang, 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 bang! Mr Quiet went and opened the door. Morning, shouted the postman. Letter for you! Mr Quiet took the letter to his kitchen. He sat down to open it. He waited until the noise of the postman's footsteps died away. Clump, 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 clump. Mr Quiet opened the letter in great excitement. He'd never had a letter before. It was from Mr Happy in Happyland. An invitation to stay. Mr Quiet was overjoyed. He rushed upstairs and packed his bag and set off that very morning. It was late when he arrived at Mr Happy's doorstep. He knocked on Mr Happy's door. Tap, tap, tap. Mr Happy opened the door. Hello, he smiled. I thought I heard something. You must be Mr Quiet. Well, don't just stand there. Come in and have some supper. It was the first proper meal Mr Quiet had had for months. And while he was eating it, he told Mr Happy all about the problems he'd been having in Loudland. Mr Happy was most sympathetic. Over breakfast the following morning, Mr Happy told Mr Quiet that he'd been thinking about his problem. I think, he said, that under the circumstances you'd better stay here in Happyland. Mr Quiet's face lit up. And, continued Mr Happy, we'll find you a house and, he went on, a job. Mr Quiet's face dropped. I'm not very good at jobs, he confessed, because I'm so quiet. Ah, smiled Mr Happy, I have the very job for a chap like you. And so, the very next day, Mr Quiet started work and he loves it. Do you know where he works? In the Happy Lending Library. 
as you know, everybody who goes into a library has to be very quiet, and only whispering is allowed. What a clever idea of Mr Happy's, wasn't it? And these days, Mr Quiet is as happy as can be. Why, only the other day, do you know what he did on his way home from work? He was so happy, he laughed out loud. Can you imagine? Tee-hee-hee. Next, please.